and gentlemen, boys and girls, Modsville USA back with another video, Detective Mods on the case. And here we are with the OLED, and I've heard some reports, and we're going to try this out right now. The reports are that updating to 14.0, at least on the OLED, I don't know about other ones, but we're going to test specifically the OLED today. If you update to 14.0, um, the mod chip will wig out and ins instead of booting up it will get a solid it'll like pulse purple and then orange could be some weird coincidence thing but I want to go ahead and test it on mine and see what's going on so it's off right now mod chip's been working fine I'll turn it on there we go that was a uh, relatively long boot there not a problem so we're gonna boot stock okay here we are in the screen just a little bit a bit more bearable there so Wi-Fi is good so we're gonna come in here system system update preparing to update Okay, and from what I was told, after the update, once it resets, uh, specifically, I've heard a few tales of this, and I've gotten a surge of people hitting me up saying their console's behaving in a similar way. So let's see if it's related to the update. So let's see what happens. Alright, complete, system will restart. Okay shut itself down in 10 seconds Nine, eight seven six five four three two one nothing huh okay can you guys see it okay yeah purple light okay not getting that on camera, uh, but what happened here was the switch booted purple or uh, pulse purple for about two minutes and then went red. And then the switch itself seemed to have booted official firmware. Like it, it booted up now, it like shut itself down. Okay, so what we're going to do now it's trying to boot again. Like it started booting official firmware and then it like shut itself down. Okay, it's off. So what I'm going to do is remove the SD card, remove the Joy Cons. We're going to tear this bad boy open. All right, dudes, I removed the back panel. It's all you should need to do if you have the proper OLED chip. And from what I've heard, what we need to do is just reset the chip and we do that by bridging these two pins here and then turning the console on so I've got my screwdriver that I used to take this apart I'm just going to push the power button on the console while I'm using my tweezers to bridge this A little awkward doing this for the camera here There it goes. So as you can see, we got that blue light there. It's a solid blue light. It's showing uh, blinking on camera. It's kind of weird how that works. It's like filming a CRT for some reason. I'm holding the power button. Okay. Now, let's see if that did the trick. Now, it should retrain itself. Um, yep. Yeah. It's blinking yellow, and as soon as we got a green light, we should get like one green pulse. Oh, there we go. It's training. It's training properly. Let's 
blinking orange again. That's fine. I see that happen all the time. Should go yellow to green eventually, and then multiple we'll get about a hundred green lights once it finishes training here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, it trained, and it's booting up again. So that is something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I've reached out to Mina and. Uh, he figured out what was going on with why this is causing the chips to wig out as they are. And the simple answer, it's not anything to do with 14.0. It is your mod chip, if your mod chip is freaking out after updating, your mod chip is not on 0.62 is likely on 0 0.60 or one of the earlier uh, spin-off firmwares uh, released by HWFly NX. Uh, so here's how to solve it before you update and get yourself in that pickle. Is what you're going to want to do is come over here to the GitHub HWFly NX. Get the latest release here. Boom. Just to be certain you're on the latest firmware so you don't have to open up the console, do any of that funny business. Okay, so here's the zip. Now what we're going to do, is we'll navigate to our SD card here. Okay, and first thing we're going to wanna do is we're gonna create a new file. Uh, let's just do text. And I've got show file extensions on, so I can edit the whole thing. And we're going to change this file name to dot force underscore update. There we go. We got that file right here. Beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is take firmware.bin, put that on the root of our SD, and replace the one I already have. Very nice. I'm going to take sdloader.enc, put that on the root. Very nice. And we are also going to uh, grab HW Flight Toolbox, and we're going to put that in bootloader payloads. HW Flight Toolbox, right there. Very nice. We got everything done on our SD card. Okay, so we got our SD file set up. We boot into Hakate, and the first thing we're going to want to do is go on into Payloads, HW Flight Toolbox. We're going to come down to SD Loader, Update. All right, now we're going to power off. Now hold volume plus, push power, keep volume plus held until Hakate boots. And if we look through here, you should see the green light pulsing like that. That is what we want. We come into payloads. HW Fly Toolbox again. Okay, now you should be able to update the firmware. Let's hit power. That force update file will force it to update. Um, now we push power one more time. And there she goes. So you will not be able to get into this mode if you are using a switch light, like with an SX light installed. Uh, that's being worked on. You're trying to figure it out. Um, or like say you have an OLED chip installed in an SX, SX light. For whatever reason, this isn't working in switch lights. So yeah, if you have a switch light, 
uh, you're going to need to go update via the debug port. Um, if you're totally cool updating via the debug port, you can do that instead of this. Just get on 6.2 before you update your firmware and you won't have any problems. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you're on 6.0.0 or earlier of the custom firmware for the mod chip, the custom version build of spacecraft, then you're going to run into an issue when you update the console. So, uh, yeah, just flash like this, and you're good to go. Once all this is done, go ahead, power off the console, boot it back up, update your switch, and you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, so, yeah, that, I think that covers all the bases, dudes. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye.